Welcome back to the channel. Today I am refinishing the oil pan for the Mini Cooper. And as you guys saw, this thing is pretty grimy. It uh, It's aluminum, it's cast aluminum. Even after you clean it, it's gonna, if you don't seal them, the pores of the aluminum just get really, really grimy. Once oil gets on it and dirt, it just gets grimy and grimier, discolored just doesn't look good. So what I'm planning to do is actually strip the all the rear differential stuff or the differential stuff out of here, the gear set for the transmission out of here, just pretty much get the oil pan all the way stripped down. Then I'll clean it, then I'll blast it. And while I'm cleaning and blasting, I have this old Zep stuff right here. It works very well. I should be able to stick one gear set in at a time. And uh, I wish I had a 55 gallon drum of this because I could just stick this whole oil pan in there and it come out looking brand new. But I think this stuff is now banned by the EPA. I've had it for a very long time, but uh, it works very, very well. So let's get to work cleaning this thing up, stripping it down and just kind of go from there because it is going to be a long process. And then uh, once I can get it all stripped down and figure out what's going to fit in this and what's not um, and how many times, because it takes like a day or so for it to actually strip everything off of there, all the uh, all the caked on oil or all the discolora discoloration and get it 100% clean. So let's get to work and get this thing going so we can get it, get it, get it done, get it nice and clean. One issue that I had with the oil pan is the transmission is actually inside of it and I need to get this nut off right here. So I need to order a deep, I think it's a 36 mil. I'll have to check, but I need to order one of those. I already got the secondary shaft out and uh, it really would be easy to pull that nut if I could get this selector stuff out, but you have to have all of these gears out to get to underneath that stuff. So it's really, um, it's really just unfortunate. I'll have to really just uh, get that larger socket, that deep, and then I can use my impact on it, undo that, pull all those gears out. Pretty much going to conclude this video. Got the Mini Cooper engine block, crankshaft, everything out of there, all the pistons. I started actually cleaning the pistons and rods up in this solution, but that's going to be in another video. Also, the oil pan with the transmission, the center diff, all that is stripped down. The oil pan was actually kind of a pain to get apart because you have to get this gear set out, but to get that gear set out, you have to push this ball bearing forward out. And there's a special tool but I didn't have the tools, so I actually used two bolts and then you just drive it out and it just spaces this gear out and gives you the ability to kind of press this bearing instead of this hitting against the case. So I'm glad that's done. Next video with the Mini Cooper stuff or Austin Mini, whatever you want to call it. The, uh, I'm gonna clean the block up. I'll probably take it to the machine shop, have them hot tank it. Same thing with the oil pan, this cover, crankshaft. I'll uh, most likely have them polish the crankshaft. And uh, since I'm building the charger and everything, I don't have enough time to do it myself 
or I would, but, and since the, the whole, you know, the whole thing that's going on, the epidemic, I can't go down to the college and use the, the micro polisher and stuff like that. So might as well just take the machine shop. He'll just free me up some time. Then I can start assembling this, order bearings, measure everything out. But that's gonna be the end of this video. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.